Jeff Blankman talking right now with Ben Grody from the Kemper Knights uh, boys track team down here at Atlantic. Today just finished up running the 3,200 meter run. And Ben, you and I were talking when you finished. You hadn't really run this event since uh, the early part of the season. Now, when you found out that you were going to be in it today, mentally, how'd you get yourself prepared for that kind of that extra mile here today? Well, uh, on the bus, right when we got off, I found out I was running this. So I had about like roughly 40 minutes to prepare myself mentally and uh, just thought, oh, go out there, try my best. What's the different strategy for you in running a 32 compared to like a 16? Uh, the 32, I try to pace myself more, like get into a pace and then sprint less, maybe as much. Uh, try to go harder more in the mile. Do you feel like you were able to, to run the pace you wanted to tonight, or how was the tempo of this race? Uh, I felt like I was able to run the pace I wanted to, being to hand ran it since uh, earlier this season. So uh, my body felt good while running it. Pretty good weather to be running. Uh, yeah. Probably one of the rare meets you've had yeah. this year where it's not really windy. What was that like, not having wind either pushing against you or pushing you in, in part of the race? Uh, yeah, it's a lot nice, not have, a lot nicer not having any wind because you kind of can, wherever I want to go hard, I can go hard. And um, the wind doesn't have to be a factor. You guys always start the race off in bunch. Um, were you able to get out of the bunch as quickly as you want and get comfortable right off at of the beginning of the race today? Uh, at the beginning of the race, I kind of got pushed to the back a little bit, about middle of the pack, and I kind of thought, oh, well, I'll just try to move my way up. And about the third lap, I was able to get into the position I wanted to be in. How did you feel those first maybe two or three laps, and did you feel pretty strong at that point? I felt pretty strong. About halfway through, I kind of felt my legs get a little shaky, but then I just pushed through. How do you adjust through that, and how do you push through? Did you slow down a little bit, or was it just stay at the same pace and know that the legs will fight through it? It's just more of a mental thing. Just keep telling yourself to keep on going. What was the strategy coming through that last mile then? About halfway through, you said you felt it. How did you feel like you did that last mile? Um, I felt like I did good for being um, not running in a while, but uh, just kept to my strategy of just sprinting where I can and going back into a pace. Where are the areas that you like to kind of sprint at when you're running the two? Uh, it usually depends on where the wind's at, but I like to normally do curves where I kind of go hard. But uh, today I kind of did the straightaways just because wind's not much of a factor. What were you looking for for a time today, and did you come close to, to what you wanted? Yeah, I was looking to get like lower low 11s-ish because I hadn't ran in a while, and I think I was around that time. So what do you got coming up the rest of tonight then? Uh, I got to run the 1600, then I got to run the 8 in the distance med, and then I have to run in the 4x4. Four four. Well, I'll tell you what, we wish you the best of luck in, in all three of those events. Appreciate you joining us here today. Yep, thanks, Jeff.